but it's it's already way behind. Jim Salji is a meteorologist and foliage forecaster for Yankee Magazine, and this year says patience is required. The forecast that we put out in August is holding pretty well. We're looking at a late season, we're looking at a long season. But a big concern, all of the wet, humid weather allowing leaf fungus to thrive. Those roadside sugar maples that are so stately that we love uh, definitely are at risk for a a lot of browning right now. The vast forest, though, in better shape. The interior forest looks good. A lot less fungus in the interior forest. Even in northern New England, there isn't much color so far. Looking at the webcams, looking at uh, my network of friends up there, it is just barely starting. And this is late. You know, we're starting to get good weather now. We're getting to those bright, sunny days and crisp, cool nights. This will help accelerate the color change. I think these conditions are going to start to turn things even down in southern New England, and we just got to wait and see if if this continues or if we go back to warm and wet. Right now, though, it's a waiting game. I'm usually starting my leaf peeping journeys right now, and I'm going to have to wait a week. Color will be at least a week behind average in northern New England, with the best not coming in most places until early October. I, I would say mid-October for most of the Lakes region, southern Vermont, Berkshires, Pioneer Valley, even later maybe, and then northwest Connecticut mid-October. Splashes of color continuing to expand from there in Connecticut but peak not happening on the shoreline until closer to November. There's really no impetus once peak is reached for the leaves to drop this year. The trees are generally healthy, just overwatered. Uh, so that kind of stress is going to create a long season. Thanks to the rain and lack of cold, Jim says to not expect the deep red colors like we had last year. Instead, pastel, more muted colors, but they may last a while. I'm meteorologist Ryan Breton, Fox 61, Connecticut's News Station.